I'm Caitlin Thrope with the Marketing and Communications Department at Christian Family Care and joining us today are Deetra and Kevin Hughes and they're mm -hmm. a therapeutic foster family here and they've been doing it for a while. We wanted to ask you guys your experience about being therapeutic foster parents. So what got you into being therapeutic foster parents? Because I know you started out as foster parents, but what was that moment when you were like, let's do something in therapeutic foster care? Well, for me, as um, going through different trainings out in the community, um, we were hearing that there was a need for therapeutic foster parents. And um, we definitely had the experience had been fostering already for about 10 to 15 years. Um, so that's what kind of made us jump into it because it was such a need for it at the time. What are some of the specific needs that you've seen in the children that have been in your care? Mm -hmm. Um, for me, um, I'm finding that they just don't get enough structure, um, whether they're coming from a regular home or a group home, whatever it may be, I'm finding that there's no, not enough structure and they need time invested in them. Again, I said a lot of people just feel like you can give them toys and clothing and that's really not what it's about for these kids. These kids have gone through trauma so they really need a lot of time poured into them and love and just patience. And one of the things that I've learned, it's not about you, it's about the kid. And you can't take um, things personally. You have to stay fast to what your goal is with the, the child and um, really find out what they need. What would you say to someone considering going into being a therapeutic foster parent? Maybe on the fence about it, what would you say to encourage them to maybe take the step? Yeah. Um, it can be very fulfilling. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, when you see a kid that's finished, come from your home and is able to go to their forever home, adoptive home, or back to their um, original family, it is a blessing. And that's what's fulfilling about it. You know, you don't have to be a perfect family. There is no perfect family. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes um, pr prospective foster parents kind of think like, oh, we're not quite right. Mm -hmm. There's no perfect family, you know. Um, you're just doing God's work helping kids as much as you can and pouring into them. You know, and if you have that, then you'd be great foster family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd almost say if you're perfect, maybe it's not for you, right? <laughs> right, mean, there's some you know, personalities. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kids need to just be, you know, dropped into a, a, a family experience. Mm -hmm. The good, the bad, um, you know, and they need to see, uh, you know, how a functional family gets through bad, you mm -hmm. know, and mm -hmm. how they deal with good. You and know, that's yeah. life, it, right? That is absolutely mm -hmm. life. Well, thank you guys so much, Dietra, Kevin, Hughes. You guys are an impactful family on so many lives, and we just pray that the Lord continues to bless your family. Thanks for sharing your experience with us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah. And you can learn more about how to become a therapeutic foster parent or just want to learn more about therapeutic foster care on our website, cfcare.org.